Okay, here in Final Cut, today we're going to have a look at how we can set up a new project and rather than just using the default settings for things like the resolution and the frame rate, we're going to have a look at how we can set up some custom settings and where we'd look to find those when we set up a project and also then when we're within a project as well. Okay, so if we go to uh, the File menu, we're going to go to New and New Project. Okay, so this is basically your edit. The project is your edit. Um, it will bring up a new timeline. Okay, and we're going to name this frame rate, frame rate and resolution. Okay, we're going to drop it into the tutorials folder. Now, the folder it's going to drop it into is the one we have here. So, the event that we have selected here is um, going to be the default event that lists here. But we can also change that. And when we're setting up a new project too, if we want to drop it into a, a different um, folder. Okay, now normally the default. Um, for a project is set up to set the project based on your first video clip. Okay, now this is great if you're working with a, the same kind of video throughout your project, but if you're loading in um, something different on your first frame, you know, like a lower resolution clip, then it will base it on that lower resolution clip and that can cause some problems later when you start to add, say, some full HD footage um, and the rendering and everything will still be at that lower resolution. So I tend to like to work on the, the custom settings and just make sure that I've got the project set up exactly as I want it to be set up. Okay, so here we've got uh, a couple of things, and there are some key things to look out for. So this is uh, 1080p. Okay, the footage that I have, uh, the format that I have selected here. Okay, now if we have a look at this list, you can see that we've got some different uh, versions of uh, HD that we can use, and also some different versions of standard definition SD that we can use. Now the thing to really look out for, um, and the version you'll probably be looking for if you're going to broadcast on the web are 720p HD and 1080p HD. Okay, interlaced is for a broadcast format, so it will actually interlace it, which is a form of compression, and when you play it back, if you play it back online, sometimes that interlacing can show, particularly when there's some fast movement in your video footage, and you'll see little funky tiny lines at the edges of the things that are moving, and that can um, often uh, be annoying once you've gone through edited and spent a long time rendering, exporting a project. So try and avoid the eye unless you know that you particularly need it. If you're working at higher resolutions, 2K, 4K, um, for kind of cinema or um, large scale projections, and then these are the settings you'll need. But normally 1080p and 720p will suffice for most people's um, requirements. We're going to stick with 1080p HD here, um, which gives us a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now, the resolution for HD can be different, but 1080p can be different. And the way this works is that not all pixels are created equal. So this 1440 by 1080 um, will be a smaller file size, but when it renders out on screen, the 1440 pixels in the width will stretch out to a slightly rectangular pixel rather than the square pixel that you'd get with 1920 by 1080. And the same for 1280 by 1080. So you're having a slightly lower resolution um, image in order to kind of lose some file size. So I normally stick with 1920 by 1080. It um, works well for me for the projects I do. Um, and then also here we have the frame rate. Now, for most projects, 30 frames per second will be more than adequate for uh, most video editing projects, but you can also export and render at 60p as well, okay? And a lot of video will capture at 60p as well. So if you're working with a lot of DSLR cameras and shooting on those or higher end uh, cameras, you can shoot 60p or higher, which is nice for slow motion because then you can set your project up at 30p and you've got those 60 frames per second that will um, work uh, well for your project. Okay, so let's just um, leave it at 60p for the moment. Okay, we'll click OK here. And we're going to drop a clip onto the timeline. Then just look at how we can see the settings for that clip that we've imported. So we're going to jump to the desktop. We've got a video screen capture here. Okay, we'll drop this onto the timeline. So this will inherit the, the, the settings that I set up um, for my project here. Okay, so I've just got a screen capture where I'm sliding from one screen to another. So if we have a look at this screen capture and have a look at the video info now up here. Now, if you don't see the inspector, just go to window and you should see the option to show inspector. Um, and this shows you uh, the video options. There's no audio with this particular um, screen capture. 
and then under the info, which is where we'll see the actual frame rate and the other information for that video clip. So here, um, we can see that the video that we've imported is 1920 by 1080, so it's the same resolution, and it's also 60p. Okay, so if we scroll down, we've got some other information about uh, the location, okay, and also the available media representation. So this would be um, the original format, and if we've asked Final Cut to optimize it or create a proxy version, we'd see the green light um, by those as well if it had actually done that. Okay, we can see the duration of the clip here as well, but most importantly, the resolution and then also uh, the, the kind of format. Now, there's a couple other things that we can um, look at um, here as well. So if we come to our event library here and just scroll down, we're just looking for this project that we've just created. So down here we have our project. Now we have to go back to the event library to see the, the kind of current settings of this project. So if we highlight this um, over here, okay, and then come to the info, so the info window is still up in the inspector, you can see that we can see it's 1920 by 1080. These are the project settings now rather than the video on the timeline settings. Um, and we can also see that we've got this option um, with this selected uh, to modify the settings. Okay, so if we click on modify, we can change the resolution um, and the, the frame rate of our project. Okay, so let's just uh, have a go at doing that. So if we change this to 720p, you can see it's dropped the resolution to 1280 by 720. We can, um, we can't change the frame rate um, here once we've got it set up. So if you do want a lower frame rate, you would need to set that at the outset um, of the project. Okay, so we can change this. We can also change the the resolution of the 1080p, but we can't change the frame rate here. So there's a limitation on what you can actually change. Okay, so if we click OK now, okay, you can see that the, the footage has scaled and now our project is 1280 by 720. Okay, so we've changed the, the resolution of this, but not the frame rate. That's a quick intro into how to control the, the resolution and the frame rate of your projects. Okay, so if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about setting up projects in Final Cut or any of the editing work that you might need to do.